What's up guys, it's BT here, and this is a review of the Endgame XM1 RGB for those of you guys who prefer aesthetics over weight. Endgame has been doing a great job of revamping their products and making them better over time from their original XM1 to the revamped XM1 with a new cable and thicker feet, and they are hoping to further improve with their latest offering, the XM1 RGB. So today, let's take a look and see, did they actually succeed in doing so? Starting off with the obvious change, they now have RGB that wraps around the bottom of the mouse, giving a nice glow onto your mouse pad as well as some RGB on the logo and the mouse wheel. You can configure each one of these lighting zones in the custom settings in their application. Um, so if you want to configure and change the colors, if you just want one color to match your setup, or if you want a mixture of colors, if you got a little black and white thing going on, a red and yellow, I don't know what you guys got going on, but uh, you can configure it within the settings and get that going. Keep in mind that this does come with a sacrifice. Like I said, you'll be gaining some weight here going from the original 70 grams to now an 82 gram mouse. The mouse doesn't feel horribly different than the original and it's still a very well balanced mouse so uh, it gets a pass from me it's right at the cusp of like 80 grams which i feel like is the maximum a mouse should be as for the mouse feet they've now changed from four feet to now two big ones which i like it's going to give you a little bit more glide they kept the thickness and these glide like butter i love these the cable is also really good it's probably the best cable that i've tried on any mouse so far it feels like they slightly changed the cable it feels a little bit looser than the second second edition XM1 and I really like what they've done here. Um, it's one of the best shoelace or paracord type cables that you can buy. It's a little bit thicker, it's very light and it's gonna protect the wires inside. It's not gonna get in the way on your desk as well. I really like what they've done with the cord. I've said it multiple times that this is one of the best if not the best mouse for claw grip and a huge reason for that is that this mouse is shaped kind of like a diamond shape on the back side of it which is how your hand naturally forms when you grab a mouse. So if you look at it like that, it kind of flares out and that's what this mouse does and that's why it fits so well and it's so comfortable for a lot of claw grip users out there. I used to think that the Zowie ZA and S2 series were the best for claw grip until I put my hands on this one. Now combine that with a low center of gravity on the front end for that pencil action and you got one of the most comfortable claw grip mice on the planet. You can hit some devastating flick shots, which is what claw grip users are known for, uh, snap into people's heads because this mouse is just shaped so good. Now it is really hard to palm grip this mouse because it's so low and it's so flat. Your hands kind of naturally flare over so you're going to go into more of like a relaxed palm or relaxed claw instead. Um, you can also fingertip grip this mouse uh, because of the little hips on the sides. You can get a good grip with your pinky and your thumb there for more control but this is more of a claw grip mouse through and through and the scroll wheel is near the front of the mouse still so if your hands are on the smaller side it could cause an issue. I say if you're around 16 centimeters long you might want to look out this mouse is pretty wide so i think you want at least seven centimeters across here and i'm talking about hand size guys don't get any nasty ideas come on you perfs so here comes my gripe with this mouse end game was on the up and up they're fixing the problems of their older mice making each one better and better but the one recurring problem that i see i keep seeing this is that the left button is clickier than the right button this has been seen on the first and second editions and now on the rgb version now they did make the change over to kale from the Omron switches and these switches do feel slightly lighter and slightly more crispier than the older versions but even though they change the switches you still get this dissimilarity between the two buttons and that leads me to think that it's a design flaw with the shell i don't know if they need to like shave down or add more plastic to the right button um, where it clicks down I'm not really sure, but I'm kind of disappointed that this made its way back into this third edition of their mouse. Now the side buttons do give good tactility and they feel pretty lively. The DPI button is on the bottom, holding it down will let you switch between the Hertz. Let's drop a sound test for you guys right about now.
Now you can also assign keyboard strokes now within the software for some macro action if that's your jam. Uh, they've also got that 3389 sensor in there and this sensor has been proven time and time and again to be solid. There's no stuttering or spin outs with this mouse. That's a thing of the past, all right? So performance wise, I was performing just the same as I did with XM1. It's a great claw grip mouse, one of the best. In fact, it kind of renewed my love for the XM1 again. I'm actually, I have actually been using the second edition XM1 since I started reviewing this mouse. Needless to say, if you like the OG XM1 but missed the RGB, then this mouse could be for you, but they really need to fix those switches or at least make them consistent somehow. For me, I think that's the next move that needs to happen for in-game. And I also wanna see a smaller version of the XM1. I know you guys want to as well with a lower weight. I really think that that would put in-game on the map and make the mouse more accessible to more people. I can see it now, XM one half. It just rolls off the tongue, right? <laughs> what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, it's been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.